the earth is the only planet where conditions are suitable for the existence of life this is mainly due to the presence of land water and air on the earth as all these three essential things made life possible on our planet the earth can be divided into three zones or spheres these are known as lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere in this video we are going to study about lithosphere in detail as the structure of the earth is formed of different layers its uppermost layer is called crust which consists of rocks and soil is lithosphere out of the total area of the lithosphere about 71% is covered by water whereas remaining 29% is above the surface of water in the form of land masses thus we can say crust or the lithosphere is divided into two which is oceanic crust and the other is continental crust the vast area of water surrounding the land masses on the earth are called oceans all these oceans are interconnected and the level of water remains the same everywhere this level of water is called sea level the height or the depth of any point on the lithosphere is measured with reference to this sea level The lithosphere is divided up in two large plates called tectonic plates that move about. It is believed that the original configuration of continents was one solid landmass known as Pangaea, which broken into smaller tectonic plates and created individual continents. The major plates include Pacific Plate, North American Plate, South American Plate, African Plate, Eurasian Plate, Indo-Australian Plate, Antarctic Plate. There are other several minor plates also. The lithosphere is also the location where earthquake occurs. Earthquake occurs due to the shift of tectonic plates. There are seven major continents. These are Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. As it is clearly shown in the map that the greater part of the land masses is covered up by the northern hemisphere. Therefore, this hemisphere is often called land hemisphere. The surface of the earth is not the same everywhere. Some parts are elevated, some rugged and others flat. Or we can say the earth's surface has different types of landforms. These are usually formed when the movement of the molten rocks present under the lithosphere pushes up or pulls down parts of the earth's surface. forces of nature like running water moving ice wind sea waves break up rocks and carry away the broken pieces this process is called erosion erosion wears away the land surface the eroded materials are deposited at other places such as river basins at these places the land surface builds up depending upon elevation and slope land has been divided into three major types of landforms mountains plateaus and plains mountains are huge masses of land that rise to great heights in comparison to their surrounding areas the mountain's top is known as a peak 
a peak may be pointed or rounded depending upon the age of the mountain. Some mountains are even found under the sea. Most of the mountains are in the form of mountain ranges. On the basis of origin, the mountains are of three types. Fold mountains, volcanic mountains and block mountains. A highland area with a flat top is called a plateau. Plateaus have large summit areas that rises above the surrounding regions. Therefore, it is also known as table land. Plateaus can be broadly classified into following three types. Intermountain plateaus, continental plateaus and lava plateaus. Plains are low-lying, large stretches of flat land. There is no great difference in the height of various parts of a plain. They are also known as lowlands. Plains are formed as a result of the internal and external forces of the earth. Most plains are formed by the rivers and their tributaries. 